Am I the only one hearing bagpipes today? Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to more Panzer Paladin. Last time we went down to the jungles of Mexico and I uh, got ourselves some mid-Atlantic cutlery and also a new weapon and took out the next weapon keeper. Uh, today we're taking a trip across the ocean and we're going to be saying goodbye to the to good old North and South America and instead we're going to be heading back to my homeland. Back, back, to, back to the land of my ancestors. We're going to Scotland. We're going to go kill a dragon. Let's go. All right, off we go. First of all, of course, we got to unequip all of our weapons because I like to going into these levels barefisted. Enemies here are pretty bog standard. Same old, you got like the, the slimes up there, you got the knights walking around. I'm gonna do my best to keep uh, holding off and getting new weapons. Uh, Scotland actually has some of the best weapons in the game, in my personal opinion. It doesn't have the best in terms of a the boss weapon. But they also does have these guys. I hate them. It doesn't have the best in terms of boss weapons, but it does have uh, some pretty good weapons at enemies drops, such as the the Spadrun. Uh, I believe the Celtic Knight is also a really good weapon as well. Where is it? Because I know it has like a really good spell associated with it. I've got so many. Uh, let's see, the Armin Sword, Celtic Knife, Attack Up. Yeah, and you can get those pretty easily in this level. Just keep doing that. So, while we're marching through this castle and killing everything in our path, I do kind of want to make note of something I did mess up on. Uh, and that is with our spirit burden. As you can see, our spirit burden is very high. Our danger level's increased. I didn't realize uh, going into this that what it exactly entails, but uh, now I realize everything that the spirit burden uh, does for you. The Spear Burden uh, increases enemy's defense, it lowers your attack, so you actually do have to use more of your weapon's durability to take out the enemies, but it also affects how the Horseman plays. The higher your Spear Burden, the more likely it is that he's going to show up in the level and you're going to have to duel him for a special weapon. I believe this is also the room where the, the treasure is hidden. Not, not here, somewhere. Take care of these. Uh, I want. I'm gonna guess they're probably salamanders. I'm just going by like old uh, D and D lore in terms of like enemy designs, and it's like little salamander type enemies, even though they're purple and not red. It are very fitting. Ooh, there, there's just some one of my good better weapons in the game. The the large shield with the mace right here has some really good reach and also some really good durability. I don't think the attack is any good though. I mean, it does take take out these salamanders in only two hits, so that might be the okay. Show that she can't protect you from the fire breath. That's good to know. Uh... Ooh, warhammer! I will take that. Unfortunately, I am still three thousand three hundred or no three thousand nine hundred and ninety nine more uh, warhammers before I can hit that forty k. But as I was saying before I got distracted, I... What was I gonna say? Damn it. Oh well, either way. I... My personal opinion about this level is that it's alright, I guess. It's not really my favorite in terms of like level designs. It's kind of blandish compared to like the past levels that we've gone through. Music's also not as good as other levels. And oh great, we got the goblins with the, the little mask so that they have frontal protection. But a good thing we can get behind them. And oh boy, I got some, I got some fodder I can expend. Uh, do I have a weapon that is getting ready to break? I don't think so. Is there any like of my special weapons? Not see anything special weapon wise, so actually the hockey stick is about to break. All right, I'll keep the arming sword with me. I'll go on top of this dude, and of course I get nothing for him. All right, 
Uh, where is that javelin? There it is. Javelins are honestly one of the most worthless weapons in the game. I wholeheartedly say just use them as checkpoint fodder. Yep, there he is. I mean, I guess the javelin's more so if you want to throw the weapon at the enemy because it probably does like increase. Th it probably has like insane throw damage. I just never really used it outside of either using it for like a, a quick heal or being able to uh, use it as checkpoint fodder just because of how little its durability is. Ooh. All right, I'm actually gonna take a weapon out. Yeah, you use a Bowie knife. Ooh, man, he is much more durable. It must be because of the spirit burden. But it doesn't matter, we won anyways. <laughs> we got the Pokeball. Uh, it's, it's a little lopsided, don't you think? A little squished Pokeball. Well, either way, we're gonna save that P for later. Uh, but I do need a weapon for these because I hate fighting these guys without a weapon. But we can't counter him. Okay, I know the treasure room is in one of these areas. I think right there. Yep, there it is. There we go, one up. the defense for later and I guess we can start using our weapons as well these little goblin mages are pretty annoying I would say almost as annoying as the birds are just because they love teleporting all over the place and they love teleporting behind you Okay, we might need to use a medium. Actually, no, we'll just sacrifice a javelin for a small heal. There should be another recharge station coming up pretty soon. There wouldn't. That's a death pit. I swear some of the death pits in this game are the most deceiving things you, you will ever see in any game because it's just like those, those right there those little two like nudges right there those look like platforms you can jump on to like get back up here from down below but you know for a fact that the second you go down there it's gonna be a death pit damn it nope Oh, I do not know how we did not lose grip right there, but I will take it. I'll grab that for a possible future heal. Oh, this is not good. This really isn't good. I'll see you all in a bit. Alrighty then, we are back. And I got a new sword out of that. Thank you very much. Thankfully this has just enough reach to be able to take out those slimes up there. You see why I hate these wizards so much. We should be coming up on the boss pretty soon. I think right after this area, that should be the boss. And you know what? We're just gonna do that.
Then assuming that they put one of those little uh, bird guards right there, right between you and a on the teleporter for grit. Oh, there was a, I think there was a weapon durability increase. Alright, so let's see. Defensive, thunder, durability up. I guess we can sacrifice this because it's about to break. I don't really need that uh, spell since we're going to have a defense increase. Uh, we'll take the officer's sword. Some was moving in the background. And there he is. He's a big boy. And he's covered in weapons. Give me your weapons. I want your weapons. All right. Dodonios has a couple of attacks. He's got his, like, his wing thing to uh, blow you back. You can... Block the fireballs, you can break the stones, but you can you have to avoid the swords because there's no protection against them. Uh oh. The roar sometimes to cause some fireballs to fall from the sky. Let's get a couple of other weapons. Uh weapon tomahawk. You got a fireball, you gotta kinda do our jump attack to avoid. And we'll summon minions. Which is why I was saving this thunder spell. Okay, you don't even need to use your jump attack to sort of avoid him if you get enough uh, breathing room. Honestly, the Dungeons is a pretty easy boss. Uh oh. Okay, why are we not taking any damage right there? That was weird. Oh, oh, that's why. Because he wanted to show off a special attack. Uh, let's see. What other weapons can I use? The Ponyard? Yeah, might as well. This is honestly the, probably the coolest part where you just are blocking like a wall of flame using Grit Shield. You can also actually jump out and avoid the attack completely if you're just playing as flame. But where's the cool factor in that? Eh, either way, Dragon Slaying, weapon acquired, let's go. Strike a pose. Flame, I'm impressed. You fight like a soldier. You're ready for an advanced sword technique. Attack the, price, the precise moment the enemy hits your shield and you'll parry even or even disarm them. The, thanks for teaching me something that I've been doing a lot throughout this playthrough. That's why you're the commander, commander. Alright everybody, that's it for this video. Next time on Panzer Paladin, we're going to continue our trek across Europe and I think we're going to shake things up a little bit in terms of order. But before we go do that, of course, as Cousin Millie, we got to go to the library. Or la laboratory. What did I say? Library. All right. Sacrifice our weapons. I want to keep the boss weapons as long as possible because they're good holdout weapons for when things get pretty rough. And I want to keep the baseball bat too, just because it's funny. And the pipe as well. There we go. Have enough to upgrade. And we have enough to do another upgrade, but it will siphon a good number of my weapons. So I think we're going to hold off on that for our next time. We still got two more upgrades remaining before we can finally fully upgrade Grit. But we're going to hold off on those upgrades for a little bit. So next time, we're going to head off to our next uh, Weapon Keeper. See you all next time.